Welcome back to another candid session of Drone Business Strategy Magazine, where we seamlessly blend straight up, street smart strategies with scholarly insights to empower and inspire your professional aerial ambitions. And now, here's our navigator, business strategist, and commercial drone pilot, Tony Marino. How you doing? I hope you had another fun flying week and it was profitable. That would be good news. Glad to have you on board again today for another episode of Drone Business Strategy Magazine podcast. Inside strategies and inspiration in the world of commercial drone operations. I'm Tony. How you doing? Today we're going to dive into a topic that's fundamental to achieving success in our drone business and across the drone industry. We're talking about a tool today. Drone pilot SWOT analysis is what we're talking about, the key to commercial success. So we're talking about the SWOT analysis. That's the tool. It's an acronym. It's initialism. I'll get to it in a minute. The dynamic an ever-evolving landscape out there, if you hadn't noticed, of the commercial drone operation industry, you probably realize success isn't just about soaring to great new heights. It's about having a strategic approach that allows you to make informed decisions, to maximize efficiency, right? Seems like we're always running late. We can have everything all set up, ready to go. Batteries charged, checklists, everything. We're check, check, check. And we still feel like we're running last minute. So we've got to learn to those maximize efficiencies, ultimately enhance our profitabilities. And one of the most powerful tools at our disposal is the SWOT analysis. It's not an end all, but it's one of the tools I like to use as a, as a business strategy consultant. And it certainly plays favorably in the drone world. In this episode, we'll explore what a SWOT analysis really is and why it's absolutely essential for drone service agencies like ours and how to conduct one effectively, right? What good does it do if I tell you what it is, but if I don't tell you how to use it, then what? I'm going to get letters, and I don't want those. I don't want the ugly letters. I want the good ones, right? So when you leave the comments below the podcast, please make sure that they're all friendly. If you don't agree with me on something, well, there's... What do they say in radio back in my old days? Two knobs, one turns the channel and one shuts it off. I don't know. Anyway, by the end of the podcast today, you'll see the strategic model and how it can help you identify strengths, your weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, ultimately leading to a more prosperous drone business. You in? Yes, you are indeed. All right. So let's understand the SWOT analysis components. Let's break it down. SWOT, S-W-O-T, right? S-W-O-T, Sierra Whiskey, Oscar, Tango stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. It's a strategic planning tool that allows individuals and businesses to assess their current situation by examining these four critical factors. So imagine I have four squares, right? The top two squares are going to be internal forces to your business, to my business, right? To our drone service business. And then beneath the two squares, lower squares, that's external forces, all right? And the strengths and weaknesses, they live in the upper two. So that's in the internal forces. And the external forces will be the opportunities and threats. More on that now. So the strengths, these are internal factors. They represent the positive attributes and capabilities of what it is you do. These are the things that you excel at or you do exceptionally well. Uh, For drone pilots in general, this might include having a a skilled and experienced workforce. Maybe it's access to advanced technology. That's a strength. How about strong brand reputation? Another strength. Efficient operational processes. 
a loyal customer base, another strength. Unique products or services, strength. Or even financial stability, strength. Internal strength. But you got to look at the weaknesses. Got to, And this is where you have to be open-minded and fair. All right, and be honest. The weaknesses, on the other hand, are the internal forces that represent where you need to work on stuff. This is where you fall short or face challenges. Um, these are aspects that need improvement or correction. Um, in a world of drone services, this might look like, well, weakness might be, it might encompass inadequate resources. Maybe it's a lack of training. Maybe it's outdated technology. You can't afford to get the better stuff, so that can be a weakness. What if everybody's cranky at work? That's low employee morale. That would be a weakness. Inefficient operational processes. Everybody's running around like the Three Stooges. Not good. That would be a weakness. High employee turnover. People don't like you. They're gone, right? How about poor financial management? That's a weakness. So these are internal issues. Now, the good news is the weaknesses can be adjusted. You can refine and get better. And a weakness can ultimately transform into a strength. Right? Okay, more on that in a while. Let's take a look at the external forces now. These are the opportunities and threats. Opportunities, external forces that can be leveraged to the advantage of what we do. Um, these are um, potential avenues for growth, expansion, improvement in the external environment. So now we're looking away from our business and we're looking outward. We were looking inward a moment ago with strengths and weaknesses. Now we're looking outward into the world. We're looking at the business world, right? We're looking at consumers. We're looking at things like we talk about in Pestle, the political climate, the economic climate, the social climate, the technological climate, right? The forces dealing with the environment and legal factors. So we're looking out into the world now, and part of our SWAT on the external side are opportunities and threats. Opportunities are external forces that can be leveraged to our advantage. Okay, These are potential avenues for growth, uh, expansion or improvement in the external environment. For us, for drone pilots, opportunities could include emerging markets, right? There's a lot of new press out. Hey, everybody's, look at the drones. They're out there. They're saving people. They're, they're doing, they're delivering now. There's, the, the word is out. Earned media is all over the place. So the market starts to emerge. Maybe it's changes in customer preferences. That creates an opportunity. Advancements in technology. There's another one. How about new partnerships? That's an opportunity external, right? You're always looking for new partnerships. How about relaxed relations, regulations? That's an opportunity. Here just recently with the extension for enforcement on the remote ID regulation that went into effect on September 16th, because of relaxed regulations meaning things changed creators with youtube channels then rushed to the and they made a video saying hey they're going to there's going to be a delay and so now they had a reason to talk to their audience and the more people that come watch their message they get more money right because of the traffic so that created an opportunity how about untapped customer segments something you wouldn't think about before could be drone surveillance. What I mean by drone surveillance is maybe somebody is selling a piece of property. There's a squatter on the property. They know it's a bunch of acreage. They don't know what's behind the fence. Well, they own the property. It's their property. As long as you don't get silly and peek in windows and stay at a, at a, at a smart altitude and follow all the rules and regulations and you're not trying to peep on the person you're just trying to look at this is intent now this is why you want to have all your paperwork in order but that's an opportunity you see that's an untapped customer segment 
in many markets out there. You, you could probably just advertise doing that and be busy. So you also have as opportunities our economic conditions. If everybody's spending more, housing markets are moving. Now you're a real estate photographer, aerial real estate photographer. Now that opens up the market. Now there's more opportunities because now there's more homes being moved, right? People are selling and they need to make sure they get those pretty pictures, okay? And finally, it's the threats. External forces, they're the threats are what we're always looking for. They represent elements in the external environment that could negatively impact what we do. These are potential risks and challenges that certainly will need to be managed. Okay, and this is why we're always situationally aware. All right, we're not staring at the smartphone and walking into the telephone pole. All right, we're situationally aware. Okay, we're pilots. We must be. So in the drone industry, uh, threats might include intense competition. Everybody's in the real estate market now. Everybody's doing ag. Everybody's doing LIDAR and survey, right? And inspections and et cetera. Economic downturns, that's a threat. Got to pay attention to that. What's going on in the economy out there? How about changing regulations? How's that going to affect you? Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Natural disasters, there's another threat. Cybersecurity threats. You know, DJI's having trouble here in America because they're concerned about the Chinese security thing, right? That's what we're hearing on the news. That's what they're telling us. So that's a cybersecurity threat. If if all of a sudden something was to happen to DJI and we can't get them anymore, now what? That could be a threat to business. Mm -hmm. That's an external, external force. You can't control it, but you can certainly be prepared and respond to it. How could you be prepared? Well, maybe you have a couple of different manufactured drones in your, in your hangar, right? In your flight bay. So that, that's how you get, you know, that's just one idea, not to belay on it. Um, negative public perception, that's also a threat. Some knucklehead goes out, does something silly, right? Flies the thing into the football game or goes over a prison and then it makes the paper. Well, guess what? People aren't going to let some peeping Tom. See, we don't want this because that threatens us too. Here we are doing everything up to and touching you know, 4.0, man. And next thing you know, we're trying to dig ourselves out of a negative, you know, public perception hole. There's also market saturation. That can happen. That's a threat. So in essence, a SWOT analysis provides a comprehensive view of our current situation. It does it by evaluating our internal strengths and weaknesses while we examine the external forces, opportunities, and threats. And by having this understanding and applying it effectively, these factors empower us to make informed strategic decisions, capitalize on our strengths, address our weaknesses, because that's the good news. You can always improve those weaknesses. They can become a strength. It's all up to you seize opportunities, and proactively manage threats to achieve our goals and improve our overall performance. So let's look at some real-world situations here. Let's look at the problem-solution approach. Critical thinking, right? So let's look at the first problem. We're dealing with drone pilots, commercial drone pilots, is that they may not be familiar with the concept of SWAT and the relevance to their operations. So the first section you're talking about is understanding the SWOT analysis. And the solution is simply this. A SWOT analysis, as we discussed, stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. It's a structured framework that we use to assess and evaluate both internal and external factors that can impact our business. Why is it important for us as drone pilots? Because it provides a holistic view of our business environment. It enables us to make informed decisions and develop strategies that can propel us to new heights. Let's look at number two, identifying strengths and, we strengths and weaknesses. The problem here is that many commercial drone pilots often struggle to objectively evaluate, honestly, their strengths and weaknesses. And the solution to that is 
conduct a SWOT analysis effectively. Start by identifying strengths and weaknesses internally. What makes your drone service stand out? Is it your specialized skills? Is it cutting-edge equipment or strong client base? These are your strengths. On the flip side, what areas do you need to work on? Uh, maybe gaps in training, operational efficiencies, limited resources. These are all weaknesses. And recognizing these internal factors, that's the first step to leverage our strengths and addressing our weaknesses effectively. Let's look at section three. This is exploring opportunities and threats. Now, let's tackle the third section, exploring opportunities and threats. The problem we often encounter here is that many drone pilots are so focused on day-to-day -day operations that we may overlook external opportunities and threats as they arise or before they even come into fruition. The solution is the external factors of a SWOT analysis involve identifying opportunities and threats in a, in a broader industry and, and market scale. Opportunities might include emerging technologies, untapped markets, new regulations, favoring drone services, right? Meanwhile, the external threats that can encompass increased competition, changing regulations, economic downturns. So by keeping an eye on these external forces, we can adapt and capitalize on opportunities while proactively managing potential threats. Let's look at section four. This is crafting strategies for success. The problem here is that without a SWOT analysis, commercial drone pilots may lack a structured approach to formulate the strategies. So the solution is, once you've identified your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, it's now time to move to the crafting section. So now you're going to develop your strategy. You're going to leverage your strengths to capitalize on opportunities. You're going to work on mitigating weaknesses to reduce vulnerability to threats. Okay. This strategic alignment, that'll help you make informed decisions about resource allocation, marketing, growth initiatives, and ultimately leading to a more successful and profitable drone business. So, as a wrap, in a competitive world of commercial drone operations, success demands more than just piloting skills. It requires a comprehensive understanding of our business environment. The SWOT analysis is a practical and proven model that I love. It's just one tool of many that empowers us as commercial drone pilots to assess our operations comprehensively. By understanding our strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, we can make informed decisions, we can maximize efficiency, and ultimately boost profitability. So here's your takeaway. Embrace the power of the SWOT analysis and watch your drone service agency soar to new heights in this dynamic industry. I want to thank you for joining us on this episode of Drone Business Strategy Magazine Podcast. I hope you found this discussion enlightening and inspires you to utilize the SWOT analysis for your drone business success. If you enjoyed this episode, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more valuable insights and for more in-depth exploration on today's topic and additional resources, you can download this episode's white paper at no charge by clicking the link in the description below. Well, we'll be back soon with another episode designed to empower and inspire commercial drone pilots like you. Until next time, fly safely and profitably, fly well, and much love. Thanks for listening. And that's a wrap for today's high-flying wisdom on the Drone Business Strategy Magazine podcast pre-planned for ambitious drone pilots like you. As we tie down another session of seamlessly blending street smart strategies with scholarly insights to empower and inspire your professional aerial ambitions, remember, your journey is your destination. For more drone business strategy information and valuable resources, be sure to explore aerialnorthwest.com. Stay tuned for more aerial adventures and strategic brilliance exclusively on the Drone Business Strategy Magazine podcast. Until next time, keep those dreams flying high.